God is good. And all the time. Yes. Ay, ayan, ayan. Amen. Thank you po. Nakakatuwa, medyo dumami na tayo. Kanina, kala ko may naiwan sa eyes lang. Okay. <laughs> Ah, magandang buhay po sa inyong lahat. It's, it's nice to be back here. Uh, you know guys, uh, have you ever experienced like uh, riding a taxi and then the, 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 the driver, the taxi driver doesn't know the place where you are going? The experience niyan? Yes. I did. One time I, I told to the, I said to the taxi driver, can you bring me to WTC? And then he said, Madam, sorry, I don't know where's, uh, where's the WTC. Kasi bago pa lang siya sa Abu Dhabi. Just give me an instruction. Okay. And then when I tried to instruct her, uh, him, medyo na pa late. Alam mo naman, mga babae, retouch. Uh, brother! Uh, sorry, Madam, I cannot turn right. Because I told him to turn right. I cannot, uh, I cannot uh, turn right because it's too late. And I said, okay, just go on. And then, parang napapalayo kami. And I said to him, okay, just uh, stop here and then I'll just walk. Then, you know, I realized that uh, in our life, in achieving our goal, it's not enough that you know where's the place. You should have someone in your life to follow. That someone must know the way, the truth, and the life. And I know one person, I know only man who knows not only the way, but he's the way, the truth, and the life. And no one comes to the Father except through him. And that is Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Uh, for our uh, VIPs, uh, salamat po sa pagpunta uh, nyo dito. Uh, our next uh, program in our uh, worship service is uh, stand, stand Up For Jesus in uh, which uh, so our brethren are uh, giving their testimonies on how God works in their lives uh, that's what we call uh, or blessings or discipline that's what we call papapalo and papapala magkaiba man ang spelling nito pero iisa lang ang meaning God loves us so much and that he said in Romans 8.28 for we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love Him, who have been called according to His purpose. Ayun. Ating lahat. Uh, it's so nice to see you all. Uh, maganda maganda umaga po. Uh, gusto ko lamang po itaas yung pangalan ng Panginoon sa buhay ko, sa buhay ng family ko. Uh, for many reasons, siguro isa na yung, ano, uh, yung mga discipline na, na napagdaanan ko at yung mga difficulties na nangyari sa buhay ko at sa buhay namin ng family ko. No? Uh, in my workplace, medyo may mga difficulties ako pinagdaanan, may mga struggles, sobrang daming pressure. Uh, yung song nga, isa sa nagpa, nagpalakas ng loob ko, tsaka nagbigay talaga ng encouragement sa akin habang nag-work ako kasi uh, ikaw pa naman uh, ipag-train, uh, uh, bigyan ka ng mga promises na everything will be all well after five months or six months. And you'll get this amount, like salary after that, after that. 
So you're expecting and you're hoping because it came from the manager itself. So I was just happy, Lord, thank you for the level up, thank you for these things, and uh, may, may, may mga matututunan ako. Pero, pero after that, sabi ko, ba't parang ano, iba yung nangyayari, bakit ay nagiging dami. Uh, in all things, hindi natin, in our own way, hindi natin ma malalaman kung bakit nangyayari yun. Pero if we will trust God, why these things is happening? Uh, he will give us reason to rejoice kung paano tayo magiging masaya even though for those difficulties na pinagdadaanan natin, hindi ka nga sumasahod ng three months, uh, ang daming mga delays, tapos uh, uh, yung pressure sa work, bibigyan ka ng mga trabaho, alanganin, pero actually, napapaiyak na nga ako nun eh, sobrang nakakalungkot, pero after all those hard work, uh, nakakatawa si Lord kasi akala ko na he, I was abandoned. Akala ko walang, walang progress na mangyayari. Pero uh, isang hinarap ko na, na medyo nahihirapan ako nung pinatawag ako sa HR. Eh, eh, yung HR manager na yun siya yung nag-promise sa akin. Eh, sabi ko, paano ko tahaharapin? Sabi ko, I was thinking na paano ko tahaharapin? Eh, may, meron kang pinaramis sa akin pero hindi mo nang binigay. So nung sabi ko, forgive. So, pagpunta ko sa kanya, kala ko meeting, binigyan niya kami ng envelope. Sabi niya, okay, bye, thank you. Ha? <laughs> Ganun lang yun. Okay, pagtanggap ko ng envelope. And then, after that, pagbukas ko, after ng mga pinagtaanan ko, ang daming criticism, ang daming away, seven, six, I praise and thank God, uh, yung mga difficulties sa pinagtaanan, yung mga delays, yung, 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 yung nangyari yun sa buhay ko, I give glory to God na uh, He give us promotion and increase sa trabaho. Uh, I was not expecting kasi siya yung promise sa akin na meron siyang gagawing level up. Sabi ko, paano ko tatitignan sa mata ha? Paano ko itaharap? Eh? Paano ko takakamaya? Pero thank God. All glory to God na eh, sabi ni Lord, ikaw nga pinatawad kita eh. Diba? Ikaw nga pinatawad ka na sa mo. Yun lang. Hindi mo patawad. Diba? So I was having difficulty of to face her. Pero I thank God how, how, how I was given an opportunity. Even those difficulties pinagdaanan ko, I thought na hindi nila mapapansin yung mga effort, yung hard work. Akala ko talaga wasted na lang. Pero all glory to God na binigyan niya ako ng uh, favors, binigyan niya kami ng blessing ng aking family. All glory to God. Sorry bro, hindi ko na-remind na 3 minutes lang. <laughs> alam mo naman, pag lampas na yung 3 minutes, MC ka na. Next time. <laughs> Amen. So, God is so faithful. Amen? Uh, his thoughts are, are higher than our thoughts. Alam niyo mga ganyang pagsusubok lang sa trabaho. Just remember Colossians 3.23. When you work, work with all of your heart as working for the Lord and not for men because God your God will give you a reward as inheritance amen, amen. and God sometimes will put you in a pit to place you in a palace amen, amen. Okay. ang susunod po na magstana for Jesus is si brother Jumil <laughs> Good morning po sa lahat. Share ko lang po yung greatness ng Panginoon sa buhay ko at sa buhay rin ng family ko. So, uh, pasalamat ako sa ating Panginoong Diyos. Uh, sa araw-araw kasi di ba, uh, everyday life is a uh, uh, great uh, gift from our God. At uh, saka um, maganda yung ano namin, yung takbo ng ano namin, yung buhay namin ngayon na nag-ano na kami sa Panginoong Diyos. Nag, uh, Nag-serve kami. Pati yung asawa ko is uh, ano na rin, na, na encourage na rin na uh, uh, ano sa Panginoong Diyos. Amen. So, uh, saka secondly is uh, uh, ishare ko lang po yung uh, na-experience ko through tightings na nung hindi pa ako nagtatights is talagang parang mahirap mag-tights. <laughs> Kasi parang ano talaga eh, wala eh. Hindi mo ma-achieve ma yung kailangan ng 10% na ibigay mo sa ating Panginoong Diyos. 
But, uh, nung nag-ano na ako, nag-decide na ako na, hindi ano ko na to, kasi nag-ano ako ng advice ng mga, ano ko, mga kabrupo ko sa life lesson. Ganun din yung advice nila, mag-tides ka, subukan mo lang para, ano. Hindi sa pag-ano na, mag-tides ka para, mag-ano ka ng, uh, uh, mag, uh, tawag nito, yung, uh, in return, uh, maghintay ka in return. Hindi ganun, kasi, through, ano eh, yung trusting the Lord eh. Lahat ibibigay niya kung uh, uh, faithful ka rin sa kanya. At saka, yun, uh, tinay ko. At saka, ang ganda ng Panginoon kasi, naka-ano siya eh, tawag nito. Hindi mo in-expect yung blessings niya in some ways na um, talagang nare-receive mo talaga. Hindi mo ma-explain talaga. At saka, marami na rin akong mga uh, narinig ng mga uh, tawag nito, yung testimony dito sa mga ating sa brethren natin uh, di mo maano kung di mo may try sa sarili mo talaga mm. tsaka yun uh, ayun, mawala na ako <laughs> ito na lang po uh, isaya, my God <laughs> ito na lang po uh, uh, we must remember na uh, kung marami man tayong hiniling sa Panginoon mas marami yung binigay sa atin na hindi natin hindi Amen. Sabi nga ni Lord sa Malakay, test me on this. Amen. Walang nagtatites na naghihirap. Amen? Amen. Amen. So, God is so faithful to us. And, uh, kalimutan ko rin ano sasabihin ko. <laughs> uh, meron pa bang mag, mag, uh, mag stand up for Jesus? Ah, si... Hello guys. Um, <laughs> po, uh, unexpected yung pag-stand up ko pero I just nakaano talaga ako sabi ng Holy Spirit na you have to stand up in it. So, uh, hello po. <laughs> um, I want to praise and thank God po na He has opened a new door for me personally and for my friends. Nung ano po, last week I was meeting with my two friends. Tapos we were just having coffee ganyan, um, chatting. Tapos, desire ko talaga na mag-open ng, makapag-open si Lord ng life lesson with me and my friends. Tapos, yung isa pong friend ko, um, parang sabi niya, Uy, let's meet again next week. Let's, let's study the Bible naman. Tapos parang, Lord, answered prayer, hindi ako nagsabi, pero siya na. So, ayun po, last Tuesday, nag-start kami ng life lesson. There were five of us, me and my five friends, my four friends, but sorry. Hindi marunong ng math. So, <laughs> tapos po, ayun, super nakaka-bless. Tapos, um, ayun nga, tapos almost three hours yung discussion namin, talking about the same passage over and over again, about Jesus' love for the Samaritan woman. And, naana namin, yesterday, hindi ako makatulog kasi parang, lahat na, parang dumarating in one week pa lang, lahat na nung pinapagawa sa akin ni Lord, nung mga pinapag, pinap, mini-meet ko to share the gospel with them and stuff like that. Tapos, yung ano ko po talaga, throughout this whole week, yung nagdudwell ako sa verse na Proverbs 16 verse 3, Commit your work to the Lord and your plans will be established. Hindi man sinabi na, your plans will be okay, your plans will be fine, established pa talaga. So, Ayan po. So, we really have to commit ourselves and our hearts and our souls and our minds to the Lord. Kasi nga, super awesome ng plans niya. When you look back at it, you're like, how did this happen? I can't do this on my own. Pero my God is so much bigger than all these circumstances. Amen. So, ayan po. Well, I'm missing out. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Nakaka-inspired, no? Uh, Napakabata pa ni ay na na mag-start ng life lesson meeting. And uh, it's a reminder to us, the great commission of the Lord, which is to preach the good news in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Kaya, dapat mag-desire din tayo na magkaroon ng life lesson meeting. Amen? May group na na mag -li po tayo. Amen? O, sino pang mag... Hello po. Um, good morning po sa ating lahat. Um, Ayaw ko pong i-miss yung opportunity na ito para pasalamatan ng Panginoon sa kanyang kabuktihan sa aking buhay. Um, last um, July 11 po, um, 
nag-take po ako ng aking road test and true enough po, sabi nga ng Panginoon, um, if you are faithful to Him and obey His command, He is more than faithful na ibigay lahat uh, ng uh, desire ng ating uh, puso na uh, naka-align sa kanyang kagustuhan. So, um, nung July 11 nga po, praise God po, nakuha ko na rin po ang aking driving uh, license. Yan po. Uh, napakabuti po ng ating Panginoon at hindi lamang po yun. Um, sabi nga ni Brother Jumel kanina, um, yung sa ating pagtatides, no? So, um, regular tighter po kami and uh, nagpapasalamat ako sa Panginoon kasi lahat po ng ginagawa natin sa Panginoon, either sa work or saan ka man, He always blesses our hand kasi we are, chi we are His child. And uh, last uh, week din po, na-receive ko din po yung confirmation for a salary increase po sa ating company. After ng promotion, so salary increase naman po. Napakabuti talaga ng ating Panginoon. And uh, one more thing po, um, nung nag-drive po kasi ako, may um, kasama po ako na, ano, nakachika. <laughs> sa, uh, before po kami uh, mag-road test. So, pinaalala sa akin ng Panginoon na uh, sa lahat ng ating uh, gagawin, kailangan baon-baon natin sa puso natin ang ating Great Commission. And that is to share His love the good news to other people. So, yun po, um, thank you sa buhay ng aking spiritual mother kasi um, she always uh, encouraged me. And sabi nga ng Panginoon um, sa Bible na um, do not be afraid, do not be terrified. Kasi nga, the Lord our God goes with us. He is always with us. So, yun po yung pinanghawakan ko nung ako ay nag test. And the same message po na shinare ko dun sa katabi ko. Um, Nag-fail na po siya twice sa kanyang driving. Uh, pero yung pangatlo po, um, after na na-share ko yun, just a simple verse from uh, the Bible, pero uh, creates a big uh, change sa kanyang buhay. And glory to God kasi na-recognize niya that it was God talking to her, encouraging her. Yun lang po. Maraming salamat. Amen. So, napakabuti talaga ng Panginoon. Dito po sa uh, Stand Up for Jesus, we, we can really see how God works in our lives. Amen. Sa discipline, sa blessing. So, let's give Him thanks for His love endures forever. Amen. Amen. So, i-welcome na natin. Ayan, good morning po sa ating lahat. Wala na muna po tayong hugot. <laughs> Kasi po, testimony pa lang nila. Hugot na hugot na eh. <laughs> Ayan, so we want to proceed sa atin po. Pag-welcome natin po mga VIP. We would like to uh, uh, invite our visitors here in front. We would like to welcome you. Ayan, let's give a hand off. Eh, dito po tayo. Ayan. Thank God, wala pong foreigner. <laughs> so, ipapakilala muna po kami. Uh, we are ACCI, uh, All for Christ Church International. We are part of a bigger church in the Philippines, which is all, which is all for Christ Church. And we are headed uh, by our senior pastor, Jerry Viray. And here we are headed by our pastor, Pastor Willie Recafrente. And we also have ACCI Dubai and ACCI Kenya. Ah, ito po pala po. Hindi po, sige. Hindi pa rin po sila foreign. Thank you po. We are not raising any banner or religion here. We, uh, our aim is to have uh, each and every one of us to have a relationship with Jesus Christ. So, kami po ay nakapagpakilala. Uh, pwede po bang isa-isa tayong magpakilala in? Kayo po, ano pong pangalan nila? Lyle. Lyle. Foreigner po kayo? <laughs> May accent po kasi. From, saan po tayo sa Pinas? Cebu. Cebu. Sino po mga taga Cebu? Praise God! Okay po, so kayo po? My name is Kate. That's my. Cavite. Yeah. Cavite po! Sino Cavite? <laughs> My name is Paula. I live in Taranyake. Taranyake! Sino po? Ayun po, marami po tayo. Brazil po, I was born and raised here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Foreign. Ah, okay, talagang mga country na raised here. Okay. 
Ilocano, sino po alik ko? Ilocano. Ayun, madami nito may kasama. My name is Jumay Edelweiss from Zamboanga City. Zamboanga! Ayan, so, ayan po, pag may papadala po kayo, pwede nyo po sila kalapitan. So, we would like to quote a verse from the Bible, Psalms 8410, It's better one day in the house of the Lord than a thousand days elsewhere. So, we would like to, we are, uh, We are not just a congregation that meets every Friday. We are a family of God. And with the joy in our hearts, we would like to welcome you with the love of Jesus. Amen.